Hi everyone, hope that you are doing well today. I wanted to share a few brief comments with you tonight about this week's gospel lesson. Uh, this week it comes from the beginning of the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1. I'll read verses 4 through 11. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, and he was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. So this is the Gospel of the Lord, and this is the story of Jesus' baptism. Were you baptized? And do you know anything about the story of your baptism? Um, probably many of us in the Lutheran Church especially are baptized as little babies, so we might not remember it. Um, but there are some things in common between our baptisms and Jesus's. Uh, but there are some things you may have noticed that are quite different about his baptism. So as we heard in the beginning of Mark, Jesus uh, appears in the wilderness to um, be baptized by this person named John uh, who was baptizing people. Um, and Jesus went into the Jordan River, a uh, little more water with going into a river than perhaps when you had maybe some water just gently um, poured on you as a baby um, if you were baptized as a baby. But for, for Jesus, he goes all the way into the river, he comes out and the story says that the heavens are torn apart and the Spirit of God descends like a dove um, onto or into Jesus. Um, and then the voice of God also speaks and says that Jesus is God's Son, He is beloved, and God is pleased with Him. Um, so those are the, the basic details of what happens when Jesus is baptized. Um, but we might wonder when we hear this story about why Jesus gets baptized. Uh, we believe that Jesus did not have sin. And we know the rest of us, every single one of us, we do have sin. Um, so that's one reason that we uh, come to God for baptism. Jesus didn't need that. And um, maybe we might wonder if he really needed to be baptized probably not for the same reasons we get baptized. Uh, but I think there's a couple of things that happen in this story that show us why Jesus chose to do this. And in fact, all the parts of the Trinity choose to work together in this story. As Jesus is baptized, the Spirit descends and the voice of God speaks. I think one of the reasons that we have this story is because in this moment, in front of all the crowds of people who had come out to John for baptism, uh, God shows everyone uh, something about Jesus' identity and Jesus' purpose. So we um, hear God say that Jesus is God's Son. That is His identity. And then His purpose, um, right after this story, Jesus goes into the wilderness where he's tempted by Satan and then right away he uh, begins his ministry. Uh, so this is maybe um, a moment that confirms that as the Son of God, Jesus has a very important purpose. And after that, he goes out to, to do that as he calls his disciples um, and starts teaching and feeding and forgiving and, and all of those important things 
Jesus will do up until the time of his biggest purpose of all, to die for us on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Uh, so your baptism, see if you can find out from your parents more about the story of what happened, but um, your baptism, like Jesus's, gives you your identity and your purpose as well. Uh, we too, in baptism, are claimed by God as children of God. We are also claimed as members of the body of Christ, which is not only your church family, um, but the body of Christ is all of the people of God who are working together to do God's work in the world. And finally, baptism gives all of us a purpose as well. Um, wherever we are, whatever we are doing in life, um, we have the opportunity uh, to live out our baptismal uh, purpose and, and show God's love and forgiveness and grace to the people that we meet wherever we are. Um, so that's a brief little summary of uh, the story of Jesus' baptism. And uh, before we leave, I will offer a prayer. Gracious God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank and praise you for each part of the Trinity as you work together as God three in one. We thank you that in baptism we can call ourselves your children. Uh, we thank you that you give us our true identity no matter what other identities we may have. Um, that is the most important one that we belong to you and we are loved by you. And we thank you for giving us a purpose. We thank you that your spirit enters into us as well and you work through each one of your children to do your work. And I pray that you would make us um, receptive and open and cooperative with your spirit so that we might be living out our true purpose and being faithful to you and witnesses to you uh, everywhere we go this week. Amen. heard Pastor Gina's message, and I did too, and it got me thinking. 
So I thought we could talk about and how I could challenge you to figure out a little bit about your baptism. So I was thinking about my baptism and like Pastor Gina said, I don't remember it because I was a baby. So I pulled out some pictures and tried to do a little research for you. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I was about this size and age. These are my Grammy and Grampy. I don't, I didn't have pictures here exactly from my baptism, although they exist, but there I am as a baby. And that was about the size and age I was when I was baptized. Um, and Pastor Gina said, you know, do you know when you're baptized? So I had to go and do a little research. I was baptized in Jefferson, Iowa um, on May 19th, 1974. And my godparents were my Aunt Mindy and my Uncle Bob. And then I got to thinking a little bit more about baptisms. And I have had the great honor and joy of being a godparent to three people. My oldest godson that I'm a godmom to is my best friend Heather's son, Logan. And that is my oldest godson. I am also a godmom. This is my second, my middle um, godson here. This little guy in the middle is Colby Dane. And he is my second godson. I am his godmom. And my youngest godson, you've heard me talk about him, is my nephew, George. So let's see here. My oldest godson's baptism was when he was a baby, and that was in that took place in Spencer, Iowa. Colby's um, baptism took place in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And um, George's baptism took place in Kansas City um, when he was a baby. So just like me and probably just like you, they don't remember their baptism either. But, um, you know, what happened that day for all of us was the same. We were brought into the greatest family ever, and that's God's family. We were brought into the greatest family ever, God's family. And we were told that he is our father and we are his children. And, um, you know, my godparents, my Aunt Mindy and my Uncle Bob said, hey, we are going to make sure you always remember that you are God's child and that he is your father and to make sure you know God. And I made that same promise by being a God mom to Logan and Colby and George. I was telling him, I'm going to always remind those three that they are God's children. They are loved by God and to always do my best to introduce them to God and help him them get to know him. So... I am going to challenge you tonight after you get done watching our gift message to go and find out as much as you can about your baptism. Where was it? Who was there? Who are your godparents? What happened on that day? Did you do the same thing I did at my baptism and that Colby and George and Logan did? Were you brought into this amazing family, God's family? I bet so. So go find out. Have a great night, everyone.
see you through.